Well, Mort, we're up early today. Yes, well, I hit the bed like a log last night after that weird dragon attack. It never came back. Well, you're complaining. Well, we were winning. It would have uh, given us a dragon soul. And uh, it did cause quite a bit of uh, ruckus. Fortunately, no one was killed, not even any of the guards. Who weren't smart enough to leave a bed of killing frost. <laughs> anyway, it's time for us to meet with your leaf. Show him the stuff that we found. It's not actually totally incriminating evidence, but it's evidence. Maybe he can point us to the right direction oh. where we can go next. Algrif won't give us a straight answer. Well, they're up in early He's too. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure. You think that people here in Windhelm we would be from solitude. late the wakers, given how cold the mornings are? The run. And what would you have me do? Oh, shut up, Bulldog. If he's not with us, he's against um, us. Um, your leaf. Any luck finding the butcher? Well, of a sort. I found this amulet inside what appeared to be his lair. Uh, can you if by tell me more about it? I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. So Might Calixto. even give you a bit of gold for it. Ernest, then. Uh, I, I'm not going to sell it. I mean, it's evidence. Uh, it's not really important, is it? Is there anything more that you can tell me about the butcher? Oh. Have you been talking to Viola Giordano? She posts those all over the city, and someone keeps taking them down. I think Ask that's someone is the actual butcher. Uh, I just might do that, but... I actually tried talking to her, and she was a bit um, not helpful. Anyway, I'll see about Travel safely. this Calixto. We know the price of freedom, but people are still weighing things in their hearts. No. What's left of Skyrim to wager? Oh. We have families to think of. All right. Let's try Viola Giordano again. Maybe she was just a bit busy when we first tried to talk. To oh, don't! All right, he's back. All right, let's go outside. All right. Let's lead him outside the city. And this time, we'll finish him. All right. Come on. Big scaled coward. Even though I'm here. Is it the same dragon? Fairly sure it's the same dragon. Alright. Come on! I'm right over here! Don't see him. Cover Khajiits! Is he attacking the city? Well, I guess this proves 
The dragons don't come to the cities all the time just to attack us. They just like attacking cities. So that's uh, kind of good. Quite good. They're letting the Khajiit in. Go and get shelter inside. yesterday was a, was a fire dragon. Oh, and yet again these idiots don't know how to take cover. Let's let's use I see. Where is it? Seems to love attacking the port. Anyway, let's get marked for death ready. Where are you? You haven't made a dent into it. Really, these dragons are bastards. Now he's attacking there. Uh. He's totally enjoying himself, isn't he? Felt that. Come on. If anything, this is nice target practice. Alright, alright. Whoa. Alright, that hurt. We have dragon hide. Yes, we do. What the hell? How is he affecting us? We have magic resistance. You bastard. Oh, I stay for a walk. Alright. 
Let's... What the hell? We are wearing our stuff, aren't we? Uh, yes, we are. We should be shrugging off this stuff. Bastard. I don't think he's landed permanently yet, but let's that fighting him. These people attacking you. That was a bit foolhardy, but yes, but it felt good. Oh, you, you're, you're that uh, group of merchants, or is it adventurers? Thank you for the help. You all right? Yes. All right. If you say so. Hey. All right. Anything else on you? Let me rifle through your pockets. <laughs> ah, you can keep the arrows. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. And here come the Khajiit. It was fortunate that they were allowed to take refuge inside the city walls. And again, not that helpful when the city was itself being attacked. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, we, can, we can let you three go. And... Uh, that was a bit disturbing, though. Oh, hello. Move on, Frank. I have nothing to say. I don't believe I recognize that one. Huh. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh. Uh. I will not take anything from him. Well, he did this duty. Oh no! Well, this was a far deadlier attack. So, where were we? Oh, right, let's talk to Viola Giordano. She's still here. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Thank you. Perhaps another time. Hmm. That's a mercenary. Who are you? Are you that scholar? Be that careful! Oh, sorry. Hello? I'm a writer by trade. Not that the people of Skyrim do much reading. Yes, I've heard about you. What kind of writing do you do, exactly? I write drama, friend. Ooh. The legends and history of Skyrim made to excite and inspire. Poor Gerard Germain at the Bard's College has been waiting for my latest work, Olaf and the Dragon. For weeks now, roads are a mess. You know what? I'll deliver the book for you. I am actually a member of the Bard's College, if you believe that. <laughs> You're sure? When you see Gerard, ask for a tip. I'm sure he'll be in a good mood after reading this. <clears throat> oh, you right. lose yourself in the pages of a good book. Hmm. I'll try to. Thank you. All right. Well, why should I be thanking him? Hmm. It's this mercenary. Don't they really need a mercenary at this point? We have two companions. And a house car. Huh. Apparently Viola Giordano is not here. At least not right now. I know that she owns a residence here. But if she isn't here, well... Oh! It's you! No, you... You look like her. Anyway... Well, if we can't find Viola Giordano, let's at least try to find this uh, Calixto's House of Curiosities. Where is it? Well, that looks like a House of Curiosities. Listen to you. It's not that simple. Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. You've seen how we live. Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. I'll speak to Ulfric soon, but I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. Oh, this is the Grey Quarter. Um, hello? I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. Can you... Well, if you don't mind my asking, can you tell me more about this Grey Quarter? Windhelm is divided into four quarters. The Grey Quarter is the one that's home to all the city's dark elves. Oh, right. If it looks to you like an impoverished slum, that's because it is. Oh. Ulfric prefers that we live in squalor. He has nothing but disdain for anyone who isn't a Nord. He tolerates us, but that's the extent of his hospitality. Huh. All right. Um, well, I bid you good fortune then. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Is it? Hmm. 
Eh, might as well take a look inside. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Hmm. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. What? Why did you have to tell me that? Are you sure that everything here is not stolen? <laughs> of course nothing in here is stolen. Ah. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Ah, so oh, think. by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. What? I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. Um. Alright, I'm actually looking for Viola Giordano. Perhaps I could return the ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. Mm. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. All right, all right, I'll do that. Could you tell me at least where her house is? Don't let Viola catch you in her house. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right, thank you. Uh, why am I thanking you? <laughs> anyway. So this is the Grey Quarter. Doesn't look that bad. I actually like the... coziness. Some would call it cramped. Some see the glass is half empty. I see it as half Duncan. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Thank you. Well, this place looks rather dingy. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hmm. Hello. Apparently, some Nord women were murdered. Not sure why I should care. Well, that's. That's a rather, well, rather bad thing to say. I mean, I know that you don't care about the Nords and they don't care about you, but you know what? I... Let me see your wares. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? All right. Let's get some... I think we're running low on bread. That soup looks good. What? You're basically foaming at the mouth with soup right now. That's true. <laughs> you can never have enough soup. Ooh, and sweet rolls. All right, thank you. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. No problem. Malborn? Oh, it's you! <clears throat> I didn't yes. expect to see you again. It's good to see you too. <laughs> Trying to stay ahead of the Thalmor assassins. I'm not a hero like you. I don't stand a chance. Uh, so what are you doing here? Trying to stay alive. I think time's running out though. I'm pretty sure the Thalmor know where I am. Maybe hmm. you can help me. You know, by way of making amends for getting me into this mess. Ah, <sighs> you know what? Though you've been a bit annoying, you did help me. I'll do what I can to help you. What do you need? You will? Really? Well, okay. Here's the situation. I was trying to get to Morrowind. The Dunmer don't care much for the Thalmor, and I figured I'd be safe there. Mm. As safe as anywhere, that is. But there's a Khajiit hanging around the main gate. Khajiit. I didn't like the way he was looking at me. I'm sure he's Thalmor. Just waiting for me to leave so he can follow me and kill me in a lonely place. Alright. I'll take care of this assassin for you. You'd be saving my life. Again. I know I probably seemed ungrateful. I've just been so scared. Expecting a knife at my throat any minute. Alright, don't worry. Just stay here. I'm fairly sure there are no Thalmor in this area. That Khajiit that we saw earlier, Mort. He may be the one that he was referring to. You remember him, right? I think so, too. Alright, anyway. I 
Who are you? Be oh. on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. All right. Um, can you tell me more about the butcher? I've been following him for months now. Well, not actually following. Hmm. Trying to find him. The guards won't help. The people won't help. I'm the only one who thinks he can be caught. Well, there, there are two of us now. I'm trying to catch him. But how can the rest of the people here in Windhelm not care? When it's their neighbors, lovely ladies being murdered. Oh, they care, all right. Just none of them thinks to do anything about it. They say I'm just snooping around bothering people. But I'm trying to save lives. And that's very commendable. You know what? I found some of your posters inside that abandoned house. Uh, hear him? Do you know about it? I've been trying to put those up around the city. To warn people. Have them hmm. keep their eyes open. But someone keeps taking them down. You say you found it in Hiram? Frigga's old place? Frigga. Let's go have a look around there. I've got a feeling about this one. I'll meet you over there. I've already been there. You're not... You know what? Let's just humor her. We've already been to that place. Well, maybe she'll find something that we missed. I highly doubt it. Maybe you could uh, sneak over to her house. Um, Alright. So where is her house? This is her house. Do it after. I think he's seen us. All right. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. All right. Are you ready? We can go in now. Let's go. I'd rather not stay out here alone any longer than I have to. Hmm. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? All right. Look um, here. There's something strange about this cabinet. Yes, I know. Oh my! That you. You go first. You can come in now. Um, Women murdered time and again, and all the guards care about is the war. Come on in. Um, it's a bit... terrible. Alright, um... Yes. Need something? Are you not going to come in? show you this journal. What's it say? Sounds like a necromancer has been experimenting. Woundfirth. There have been rumors swirling about him for years. <coughs> as long as I can remember. But he's a dangerous man. That's why they call him the Unliving. I wouldn't approach him directly. This information needs to go straight to the steward. He'll listen to you. All right. Hmm. Woundfirth the Unliving. I think she's referring to the court mage. The court mage. Woundfirth the Unliving. Do you think that he's a practicing necromancer? Well, He's kind of obvious. Yes, it, it's too obvious. 
Maybe we should talk to him. Alright, where did... Good thing that Miss Giordano doesn't seem to like staying at her house. <sighs> so what do you think about this court mage? Should we report him to the steward as Miss Giordano said? That's a very serious allegation, Mort. You know, I'd much rather that we meet this Woundforth ourselves. Yes, maybe we can have him confess if he is the murderer. And perhaps learn some of his secrets. <laughs> Alright, it's a plan then. Oh, come on! I guess he's somewhere inside the blue, blue palace. The palace of the kings. Ah. Oh. I wouldn't expect anything less from that paranoid Nord woman. All right. Still haven't gone to Calixo's House of Curios though, but maybe we'll go there tomorrow. Right. Court Mage's quarter should be there. Well now, look at this place. And here's the man himself. Hello? Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. Um, that's not a very good thing to say at this point. Um, I've heard that you dabble in necromancy. I beg your pardon? Mm -hmm. Necromancy? I am a member of the College of Winterhold. You in are. good standing. They haven't allowed necromancy for hundreds of years. That's not what I heard from Master Finnis. Anyway, it's better if you just confess, my friend. I found your journal where the butcher was doing his handiwork. How can you explain that? My what now? Your journal. I never kept a journal, I can assure you. Oh. Um... All right, um, um, you don't, eh? All right, um, that's fine. Um, I think I... Strength and steel are well and good, but magic is the true power in this world. I think I made the wrong turn. All right, this is weird. If that wasn't his journal... That was at the door downstairs. What? what the hell? Where are we? Um, what? I've uh, gotten a bit confused. Ah, uh, damn it! He knows that. All right, we we've all struck out that. on both of those leads. 
You think I need to send Borgraf a sword? Talk to Yarlief. If I message you, me, shall the sword. Yarlief. Any luck finding the butcher? Shaking his city and leaving him in disgrace. Uh, nothing yet. Travel safely. It's dangerous so out there. Start this war in earnest, then. Soon. What? What are you planning? I still say you should take them all out Let's go find this Calixocorum. It's the only lead we have left. A it's a bit late though, but... So where is this house of curiosities? Just a few seconds. Mm, we actually didn't check here. Is it this? Yeranye. Here it is. Calixtos, but it's locked. <sighs> well, I guess it would be, because it is a bit late. Guess what we do is uh, we go check out that Kajita at the front of the city. Ah, this is tiring work. Right. Come on, someone please get these bodies. Please put them... Say, Malborn. Kajit was out front. Oh, it's a Kajit. What are they doing here? Hello? Fortune smiles upon this meeting. Uh, thank you. May your road lead you to warm sands. Oh, Master Madrad. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Um... Something different for now. I'm looking for a Khajiit who might be a... Thalmor spy. Ah, you must mean that one over there. He is not one of us. Thalmor Firth, eh? Giving old Khajiit a bad name. Yes, I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Oh, I will. Don't, don't worry. And look, he even has a Thalmor blade. Hello. Move on, friend. I have nothing to sell today. Yes, oh well. Malborn has a, you know, a message for you. Malborn? Ah, very good. I think we understand each other. Yes, indeed. Whoa. Well, he wasn't very careful, was he? Description of target was where mail goes by Malborn, believed to be working for the blades, so approach with caution. He has inside knowledge for procedure, so he will be warier than usual. Malborn is not his real name. He's now been identified as a survivor of a family of traitors who are all believed to have died in a fire in Falinesti. Do not risk him evading us. He's likely trying to leave Skyrim. Make sure of your kill. Do not implicate us. Well, let's take that. Thank you very come, much. Come and see what goods I offer. Um, Kajit welcomes you, and yes. also your coin. Yes, indeed. Let me sell you some stuff. Take a look. 
And I uh, take these. Alright, thank you. May your road lead you to warm sands. Ah. Done and done. <laughs> uh, let's give Malborn the good news. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Malborn. Brilliant. Um the issue with the Altmer is done. I think you'll find that it will be safe to leave Windhelm. That's great news. I'd, I'd better go, right now, before they find me again. This is my chance. Thank you. Here. I stole a lot from the Thalmor over the years. You may as well have some of it. It's not necessary, but... You know what? I'm going to see that you get there safely. All right, let's make sure that he has a bit of protection. Where's that spell? Um, there it is. Come on. All right. Uh, let's have cards. Don't worry, Malborn. You've got a lot of company right now. You're not going too far, aren't you? Um, I hope. That reminds me, Morrowind is basically where Solstheim is. Maybe we should, um, Mort, you should, hmm. you should focus on finding the Elder Scroll. I mean, this whole affair with this serial murderer has been a nice distraction, but don't lose focus. Yes, I know, but you know what? I just needed to do something else. I mean, uh, thinking about the Elder Scroll, potentially going blind, it's a bit of pressure. I'm sure that your fate will not be to become a cripple. So, just be more confident. Well, you're not the one who's going to become blind. Right? Well, who knows, Maud? We do share the same pair of eyes. <sighs> anyway, whatever, yes. We, we finish here. Let's check back at the college and see if our sources found where Alftand is. We'll see. Where are we going, Malborn? <laughs> right. There's nothing here. Oh, alright. Is this actually a road to Morrowind? Greatest post. Somebody help! Someone Get out of here! Come on! Oh. Um. Who are you people? Die. 
Come on. Don't have to care about ancient vampires or bandits. Just what the hell? What's that? Is that an Malborn has left. Malborn has left the continent. Really? Oh well. Good luck, Malborn. Guess we are done here. He did leave, right? Alright, I think he did leave. Fortunate that you were good enough to go with him, Mort. Fairly sure he would not have gotten past those powerful ice rates. And that's what friends are for. What is this place? It's some sort of outpost between here and Morrowind. Oh. Yeah, let's take this book. Not good to leave a book here in this place. Alright. Well. You fixed several problems. Still haven't found the butcher. Well, one problem at a time. 